Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you I hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to NIEBS home school I am Ashish Bishash an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school morning shift today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 32 of half yearly and today's SW number will be 21 and my dear student our today's topic name is chapter 6 from chapter 6 we shall solve cbq1 as your cw and cbq2 will be your sw i repeat cbq2 will be your sw you must do your assign sw in your sw copy and submit it regularly in our school in every saturday within 9 am to 3 pm so my dear student let us start our class i have already written cbq1 and cbq2 both on the board here at first we solve cbq1 as your cw so read the cbq1 first so please notice the board mr habib kept one by four portion of his property for himself and divided the rest of the property equally between his two children okay a number question what portion was the rest of the property after mr habib kept his property for himself question number b what portion of the property did his child get question number c if mr habib has property of two lakh taka how must his child get so my dear student we solve a number question first mr habib kept one by four portion of his property for himself and divided the rest of the property equally between his two children and question a is what portion was the rest of the property after mr habib kept his property for himself my dear student in this case at first we consider the total property is one portion the total property is one portion after that we subtract his portion that means one by four portion from total one portion and we get the rest of the property so first of all we write given that mr habib kept one by four portion of his property of his property for himself now we consider total let total property be on portion okay after keeping for himself what was the rest amount we need to find out that how can we subtract this one by four portion from one portion okay so write the rest the rest of the property rest of the property b 1 minus 1 by 4 portion now we do subtraction we do know every number has a denominator which is 1 so we write this at 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 then 4 is the LCM then we divide 4 by 1 and we get 1 that 1 is multiplied with 1 and we get uh, sorry that 4 is multiplied with 1 then we get 4 I repeat 4 is divided by 1 and we get 4 that 4 is multiplied with 1 and we get 4 on the 4 now we divide 4 by 4 we get 1 1 is multiplied with 1 we get 1 so portion and portion and finally if we subtract 1 from 4 then we get 3 by 4 portion my dear student this is the answer okay as our solution is done we must write answer okay this is the answer of question number a next we shall solve question number b dear student notice 
what portion of the property did each child get and from the stem we notice divided the rest of the uh, rest of the property equally between his two children that means the rest property is 3 by 4, four portion this 3 by 4 portion property is divided between these two children okay so two children get how much portion 3 by 4 portion so one children get how much portion we divide this 3 by 4 by 2 and we get the answer okay okay so b number question and we write from a we get we get mr habib mr habib divided 3 by 4 portion between his two children equally okay so we can write this sentence as two children get three by four portion right two children get three by four portion therefore one children get sorry all children now it will be one child one child gets 3 by 4 divided by 2 portion okay now please notice 3 by 4 divided by 2 by 1 after that 3 by 4 multiplying sign and this fraction will be reversed that means 1 by 2 now 3 1 4 2 okay here 3 is multiplied with 1 4 is multiplied with 2 now we notice 3 1 both are word number on the other hand 4 2 both are even number so 3 is multiplied with 1 and 4 is multiplied with 2 we get 4 2 are 8 so 3 by 8 portion in this line we also write portion here we write portion and here we also write portion so dear student this is the answer that means each child gets 3 by 8 portion therefore is child gets 3 by 8 portion this is the answer of question number b next we shall solve question number c mr habib has property of taka 2 lakh how much each child get that means dear student in question number a we have already let the total portion be one okay so the price of on portion property is 2 lakh so each child get how how much portion 3 by 8 portion so the price of 3 by 8 portion is what okay so now we write question number C. In order to solve C, we need this information. So write from B we get, from B we get, is child gets 3 by 8 portion. And again, we let total property property be one portion. Now, one portion equal to how much taka? Two lakh taka. Taka. Two lakh then 3 by 8 portion equal to taka 2 lakh multiply by 
3 by 8. Okay, now we do calculation. So we divide this 2 lakh by 8. That means in 28 goes in 2 times. That means 8 to 16. And if we subtract, then we get 4. That means 40. In 40, 8 goes in 5 times. That means this 200, 8 goes in 25 times. And left how many? 0? 3, 0. Okay. Now we multiply this 25 by 3. 25, 3 is 75. And for easy multiplication process, process we get this 3, 0 here. Okay. That means... 75,000 taka. Okay. So, this is the answer. That means each child get how much amount? Is therefore, each child gets taka 75,000. And it is the answer. Taka 75,000. My student, this is our today's cw okay next question number cbq number two mr sajjad donated five by 24 portion of his money to an orphanage and three by eight portion to an educational institution a number question in total how much portion did he donate b number question what was the remaining portion of money C number question, if Sajjad had 24,000 taka, what amount of money was he left with? Dear student, we have already learned a odd problem uh, just like this one. Okay, that odd problem is separated into three parts, A, B and C. You arrange that odd problem in such a way and you get the answer. All are same, all are same data are same and questions are same okay so you follow question, uh, lecture number 31 then you can easily answer cbq number 2 so my dear student i hope this class is fruitful for you and cbq 1 cbq 2 both cbq are very very important for your half yearly and also for pec exam so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum